decreasing the number of implants and going for cantilevered designs to avoid advanced surgery in extremely resorbed alveolar crests is an increasingly adopted protocol in the recent literature. For this purpose, fixed prostheses on four implants where two of them are placed with angulation are frequently used and proved to be successful. In such cases where implants are accumulated at the anterior region to avoid anatomical landmarks, one of the most important points from a prosthetic view is the cantilever length. Although not many studies exist on this issue, it is recommended that cantilever length not exceeding 15 mm would minimize the mechanical complications. Therefore, in some situations we have no space to place all teeth in an arch on the denture and we choose the option to complete the rehabilitation with the shortened dental arch concept when PIX prostheses are preferred. But when some patients resist dentures with decreased number of teeth, we may face with bad surprises at the delivery stage. To prevent this, it is important to correctly analyze the localization of the implants on the posterior region before surgery. In situations where prosthetic platforms of posterior implants correspond to the second premolar or first molar, we can easily decide for a fixed prosthesis and if the conditions are handled, immediate loading may also be applied. Since the cantilever length wouldn't exceed 10 mm, the risk of any mechanical problem is decreased. But in these cases where we cannot reach posterior enough, if the patient has been promised for a fixed prosthesis, we may have to eliminate second and even first molar teeth, in other words, surrender for wide occlusal table molars with high chewing efficiency. Because of wrong planning, we had to stay at the premolars in this case. This means decreased chewing efficiency. If a bar-retained denture could have been planned instead of a four-implant-supported fixed prosthesis, a denture with all teeth present as well as with efficient chewing area could have been delivered to the patient. The presence of a bar minimizes the need for mucosa support during chewing, easing the patient to consume hard food. One exception is that if a complete denture or mucosa-supported implant over denture is present at the deposing arch, we can complete the whole arch without considering the cantilever length. In such patients, since the masticatory force is also decreased to one-third with the mucosa support, mechanical complication risk is also decreased.